Now on Floor FM, I'm joined by Jake Jacobson, organiser of the Scooterboard Challenge. So Jake, the Scooterboard Challenge kicks off in Port Augusta next week. Tell me, what does this adventure entail? We leave Port Augusta at 8.30 on uh, Tuesday morning next week and 20 of us, over 65s, riding uh, scooters from there across to Perth, arriving in Fremantle in Perth on Sunday the 21st of September. So we have three rest days in the middle of that and we're trying to uh, average around about 250 to 300 kilometres a day in our journey because we're only travelling at about 50 kilometres an hour. Yeah, so they're just 50cc scooters. They're just little 50cc scooters and uh, the reason we've done that is that we didn't want to um, stop people who didn't have a licence from uh, joining our event. So anyone could get aboard? That's exactly right. So why the Nullarbor? Why did you pick this route from Port Augusta to Perth? It was all the result of a dream one Saturday afternoon that a certain person I won't name because it was me <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> had a bit of a dream one sa- uh, this Saturday afternoon on a lounge chair out in the warm sun and uh, uh, had the dream about a mob, of, a mob of oldies riding scooters and it was across a sort of a deserted plain. You know, there was a few other implications to all of that and and I woke up, when I was woken up by what my wife, I told her what I was on about, and she said, you're darn stupid. You know, what's going wrong with you? You're getting old. But then my two children, when I told them, they were more sensible, and they said, hey, why don't we do it? Why don't we organise it? Why don't we get into it? So they were probably the, the two people that had the main influence on me deciding to have a go at this has been. All right, so on the way across, what other South Australian towns will you pass through? Do you know the exact route you're going? Absolutely. Um, The first day we're going from um, Port Augusta to Woodna, and then the next day Woodna to Sedona, and then the next day, uh, which is Thursday, Sedona to Nullarbor Roadhouse, where we're overnighting. And we leave South Australia on the, what's that, the Thursday, isn't it, I think? The next day, which... um, we end up crossing the border having an overnight in Euclid, the first stop in Western Australia. Sounds like it'll be a lot of fun for you. (laughs) We have a group uh, from three people from Perth at the moment just about to bring a bus and a trailer across for us and that will act as our support vehicle. And a lot of them were talking about getting a Myers uh, window dummy and uh, model and dressing it up as Priscilla. Do you remember the show? (laughs) Yes, you should do that. (laughs) Well... They've just sent me an email and they said, you should, you'll be a bit surprised when this bus turns up at Port Augusta. <laughs> That'll make it even more fun. <laughs> I think it will. Look, we're all like-minded people. Uh, we're all over 65. Uh, we've got nothing to prove except uh, in this case we want to raise as much money as we can for Beyond Blue because we believe in what they, uh, that the charity is doing. And um, we want to prove to ourselves that... Uh, we. We're just not uh, couch potatoes. We can get out there and do these things. I think it will definitely prove that. It's quite (laughs) admirable. So you spoke about wanting to raise money for Beyond Blue. Right. Why is this cause so important to you? There's been a couple of reasons for where it started. Um, At the time when we started this, you've got to remember it's about uh, nearly two years ago when it originally started. When you had the dream? When I had the dream, yes, that's right. And uh, there was a lot of, lot of suicides in, in the country, uh, farmers of different age groups committing suicide. And uh, so it, that was a bit of a concern to me, but I'm an ex-military pilot, been to Vietnam, and I've seen a lot of my friends suffer from anxiety, depression and that ty- uh, those ailments. We thought it might be nice if we could support a charity that was sort of... Um, concentrating in that direction so we initially approached to beyond blue and they took us in with open arms and they've been tremendous supporters of what we're doing for them and can i just add in at this stage as of this morning we cracked forty three thousand dollars that beyond blue already has in their in their hands and when this event is over there's going to be a lot more money being passed over to them. So, uh, for, you know, we feel at our age we've d- made a fairly good contribution. Definitely. It's definitely a worthy cause and I wish you all the best with it. Hannah, thank you very much for um, giving us a call and letting me tell our story. Thank you for speaking with us.